beautiful morning for a little nature hike here in Minnesota. I love how some of these rest areas in the states have little hiking trails or hiking paths. So I wouldn't really call them official hiking paths because you know they're paved, but you know, American style, pave it. Right, look at these, look at these. The leaves are coming out in Minnesota. Just awesome. We're in Avon, Minnesota. Avon or Avon? At the rest area where we slept. Just woke up and I found this trail. I'm like, hey, weasel, get ready. We're going for a walk. So this trail goes all the way around the rest area. And this rest area is actually huge. Like, look at this. There's like picnic areas back here with roofs. There's trees for a weasel to pee on. There's a path that goes all the way around here. I am impressed. Hashtag impressed. Bugs, bugs, bugs. The bugs are back. But at least the green grass comes with them, right? Or maybe they come with the green grass. Either way, grass is out too. So around Minneapolis, the trees are really starting to bud. We're just past the city. We're into Wisconsin now. We're gonna be stopping in Menominee. Uh, the love's there to get some fuel. And after that, continue on down the road. I'll probably get something to eat there as well while I'm there. I stopped at Pilot Flying J this morning for breakfast. They had a delicious soup there in uh, St. Cloud at exit 171 on Interstate 94 in Minnesota. They had a, a great soup. I've never even noticed it there, but I saw it there today. I tried it. It was their chicken soup. It was delicious. It was a perfect breakfast for me. I'm not much of a breakfast person, but that really hit the spot. Just coming up to our exit, number 45 on I-94 going through Wisconsin here. Menominee. Looks like I'm going to follow this guy. Get some of these bugs off our windshield, maybe. I think that's a good idea. So we've driven, I don't know, a few hours today already. Take to back to I-94. We've driven about two and a half hours today already. So we still got a lot of daylight or a lot of day ahead of us yet. We'll be driving the full 10 to 11 hours today. Get ourselves around the corner here. So Turn like they, left on road to I-94. No, Mandy, I'm going to go straight. Looks like they got a Cenex gas station off to the right here. They got a Love's Travel Plaza off to the left over there. It's at exit 45. So I just grabbed fuel here, and I'm ready to head out. I've been waiting here for about five minutes now already. And in the entire time that it's taken me to fuel my truck, 163 gallons, which takes a little bit of time, wash my windows here, this guy in front of me has still not... Uh, finished doing, doing whatever he's doing inside so we're sitting here waiting for him another reminder to uh, if you're gonna take a little bit longer inside maybe you should find a parking spot instead of parking in front of the pumps we're on to this camera again we're here in uh, I think it's Medosa Medota something Illinois <clears throat> a little south of Pawpaw Illinois it's the town I went to yes Mendota Illinois stopping here for some food they got either subway or mcdonald's they got some amazing brilliant options for us diesel because they care about our health as truck drivers they want us to live long productive lives big news for today when i'm filming this is uh on the gop side of things in the states ted cruz just dropped out today makes things a little interesting and so far i don't know what's happening on the dem side I, it looks like Hillary is going to take it, but I'm not too sure. Uh, depending on where you go, uh, some places Bernie's popular, some places Hillary's popular. I don't know. That's all I'm going to say about it. That was the news for today. Ted dropped out. I know. I heard it as he was. I heard it live, and I was like, "What?" 
I was exactly like that. Exactly like that. So I figured I'd share that with you and we won't go into that in my vlog. We're in about central Illinois here, I think. Going past, what is that? Oglesby? Oglesby? Oglesby, Illinois? Exit 64 here anyways, on the way south. I-39. I believe we're still on I-39. Going down towards I-55. This is exactly the road I thought we took down to uh, Florida or to Tennessee to visit Jade and John with the pickup two weeks ago or a week ago. Two weeks ago, right? Two weeks ago. So it's been a good night so far. Nothing really to report. Lots of bugs, but the weather has been great. Absolutely fantastic. Be very, very quiet. Everyone's sleeping. Except for this guy beside me. Thank God his reefer just turned off. Oh, that thing's obnoxiously loud. I think he needs a new muffler on it. So we made it here to Tuscola, Illinois. You remember a little while ago we were down here and we went for a walk, me and the weasel through town. I periscoped here and we spent pretty much the weekend here because I did my reset. That was this town, Tuscola. We're just parked at the 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 other truck stop there's a pilot and there's another truck stop that i found while we were walking around town it's sort of hidden in the back and nobody really knows about it unless you go for a walk through town right so me i remembered barely i was actually went to a pilot first and i was like oh there's no there's no room at the inn what do i do and so i was driving out i was like wait a second this looks familiar i go around the corner i'm like ha ha truck parking Hidden. Special access only. Actually, anybody can park here. You just have to know that there is parking here. And now that I told all of you that there's parking here, not all of you are going to come find it and there's never going to be parking here. Great. Anyways, thanks for putting up with my hat for another day. Hope you have a great day, a great night. Wherever you are, go down below to the description. There's links to past vlogs of mine. See what I was doing two years ago on this exact day of the year. I don't even remember myself. I'll see you tomorrow anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time here in North America.